Hello and welcome to Vonax Quick Test 500 live demo system. Okay, so before we see a test being performed, I would like to quickly run through a list of the most common problems Vonax existing customers encountered when testing and diagnosing ADSL broadband faults. The main and most common problem was they were certain the fault lied with an ISP but had no way of getting them to take responsibility for it. The ISP would often deny all knowledge of the fault. Secondly, the ISP says they will fix the fault but will charge for a call out if the fault was the customer's responsibility. The general charges are anywhere between £150 and £450 depending on whether they are a residential or business customer. On top of that, the ISP said that they wouldn't be able to get an engineer out for a week or so. Lastly, their customers weren't satisfied with the fact that they had been out to their site, tested their broadband and then were unable to resolve the fault. The customer then had to pay them and the ISP. So, with all that in mind, what I'm about to show you is some of the key benefits of the Quick Test 500 and how by using the tester you can resolve all of the issues I just mentioned and any other ADSL broadband problems accurately, rapidly and professionally. Okay, so let's now go and have a look at the live demo system. So, what you can see here is the outlay of the automatic test suite. All of this is broken down onto the tester's LCD display screen. Running this test is effectively like going to a customer's site, plugging the tester in and turning it on. It's as easy as that. Just to explain, we have a mini DSLAM in our office lab with a quick test 500 hooked up to it. So in doing this test, we are effectively simulating a telephone exchange. So let's now see a test being performed. First of all, we can see that the DSNL synchronizes, then we obtain an IP address from the network, and at that point the WAN service is up. Then the tester runs a DNS query test, pings a remote destination, the default gateway, and DNS servers, in order to verify IP connectivity. Then we go on to run a HTTP download test in order to verify internet connectivity. As you can see in the bottom there, we also have a voice over IP test option enabled, and if you are interested, I will run through this in more detail after we've had a look at the ADSL reports. We say all key statistics, results and reports are obtained in typically less than three minutes, hence the name the quick test, but as you can see here, it hasn't even taken that long. So, now the test is complete, we're going to mainly take a look at the DSL layer results, as I'm sure you'll agree that 99% of broadband faults are at the DSL layer. So, let's have a look at the overall report of the test we've just run. Here you can see the key DSL layer stats, the actual line rate, the attainable line rate, signal to noise ratio margin and the line attenuation. We can also see further down the page more in depth uh, error counters and higher layer ping and HTTP tests. The reason you can see the green ticks and the red crosses is that the tester is already loaded with configurable pass fail thresholds as used by BT. These are the thresholds that they deem fit for a healthy broadband line. This is so users can rapidly see whether a particular statistic has failed to reach the threshold margin or not. OK, so let's now have a look at where the reports are saved. So as you can see, the last 16 reports are saved at one time. This is so you don't have to back up the report after each test performed. You can then rename up and upload all reports to your PC in order to reference them for future callouts to that customer, print or email them to your customer in order to reassure them of the work you've carried out in a professional manner, but more importantly, you can email these to the ISP's representative whilst on the phone to them to provide hard evidence when advising a fault is their responsibility. Okay, so let's now take a look at the DSL screen. As you can see, this refreshes every four or five seconds. This is in order to give you the live stats on the line. Again, this is handy for when either line, the line deteriorates over time or errors increase. It is yet another argument against the ISP. What you can also see is that there is a box on the top row which says line drops. Okay, so this is for the problem when you get a phone call from your customer they say, my broadband is down, you go out to their site and everything seems to be fine. Okay, well a great benefit of the quick test is that you can put it in place of the router for however long you need to, say 24 hours. The tester will keep refreshing the test every four or five seconds 
allowing you to then web browse to the tester using the IP address attained at startup and measure the amount of line drops in that period of time and all the time your customer will have a wide ADSL connection through the Quick Test 500. Okay, so now you have seen some of the key benefits of the ADSL side of the tester. How you can provide hard evidence to ISPs when advising them fault is their responsibility. How you can diagnose all ADSL faults quickly and professionally. And how you may even be able to make a living out of the Quick Test 500. I would now like to perform a voice over IP test using the Quick Test. So for those of you who aren't interested in this application of the tester, but you do have some queries regarding the ADSL side, feel free to give one of our representatives a call now on 01923 750013. So now let's have a look at the voice over IP application of the tester. An outgoing VoIP test was already run as part of the automatic test script at the beginning, but we will now do a fresh test. Here you can see the quick test is now dialing the number you can see up the top here, which is with our VoIP talk account. It's now proceeding to talk to the server for a duration of six seconds. This time period is configurable to your needs, and it has now finished the call. The key things you can see here are the RTP measurements, the delay and the jitter, and then going down to the packet loss, the burst packets, duplicates and out of order packets, and then the sequence errors. Now to go into more detail, we can go into the view event screen. This is the tester's interpretation of what happened in that six second call. The registration process to the VoIP server, then it's completed, the call invite has gone out, and then once the call has been established, the quick test starts the analysis of the RTP voice packets, and then finally it closes the call. For the very technical engineer, we can go into the View Details screen. Here we can see a full protocol breakdown of the last 16 messages transmitted and received by the quick test. And then to conclude the voice over IP testing option, let's have a quick look at the view RTP screen. In this particular case, it's not a very interesting screen because there weren't any errors in the call. If there had been any problems such as excessive packet jitter or loss, etc., the events would be displayed here in red. And also the same back here. Right, well that's pretty much everything I'd like to show you. I hope you've enjoyed the live demo system. If you have any queries, please give us a call on 01923 750 013.